Hi, today we're going to talk about hypoxylin canker and dieback of trees, which is a major problem for many of our hardwood trees across Oklahoma. This is a disease that unfortunately kills trees and it's followed by drought stress. So we're seeing it quite a bit throughout the state. Hypoxylin is caused by a fungus and it actually causes a wood decay or internal wood rot of trees. Lots of trees are susceptible to hypoxylin, including most commonly oak, but we also see it on pecan, hickory, maple, golden rain tree. Any hardwood tree could potentially have hypoxylin canker and die back. The early symptoms you'll see are going to be yellowing of some of the upper branches. You may notice some dieback where the limbs just simply don't have any leaves. And as the summer goes on, you may notice some premature defoliation where you'll see yellow leaves or brown leaves have fallen to the base of the tree. The fungus actually survives on the bark for several months before the tree is actually infected. It colonizes the bark and when the trees become stressed, the fungus can get in. Usually what in Oklahoma, the major stress factor is drought stress. So when trees are drought stressed, they don't have enough moisture for their natural defense reactions to resist the fungus. The fungus gets in and starts causing the wood decay. Most people don't realize what's happening inside the tree. They just see the yellowing and the dieback symptoms. Most people start realizing their trees have hypoxylin canker this time of year because they will start to see the bark fall off the major limbs and also they will see it on the trunk of the tree. And at that point, the bark, once the bark falls off, the trees are going to die. Um, the hypoxylin fungus, I have some examples of logs that have come into the diagnostic lab. It usually, when the bark falls off, the fungus forms this layer in between the wood and the bark, and the pressure is what causes the bark to fall off. It generally starts off with this sort of brownish color, and as the fungus matures, it'll become white and then a gray color. And eventually, when the fungus is completely mature, it'll turn black. All of this is the same fungus, it's just different stages. And when you see this, unfortunately, that tree will most likely die within the next few weeks if it's not already dead. The best thing to do is to go ahead and remove these trees since there is an internal wood decay. The trees are not going to be as stable as a healthy tree. They're more likely to come down in wind storms. So removing them, chopping them up for firewood is gonna be a great idea. Um, we used to recommend that you burn up the firewood quickly since there's so much of this disease occurring in our state. There's lots of spores floating around. Burning up the firewood as quickly probably isn't that important. It's more important to remove the trees so that they don't fall and damage a structure or in an area where people frequent. You can also chip the wood. Uh, the main thing about hypoxylin is it could have been stopped if the tree had been properly cared for to begin with. The trees develop this disease because they're under stress. So anything that we can do to minimize stress of the tree is going to be key. Most critical will be preventing drought stress. So we've had drought for the past few years. We've had extremely high temperatures. Some people did water their trees, but often it was too little or it was simply started too late. So by watering those trees is really critical to preventing the disease. Otherwise, maintaining proper fertility and good health of the trees is really gonna be what prevents them from getting this disease.